So in this video, we are going to see Arden's theorem. Don't use Arden's theorem in the exam unless it is very required. Without Arden's theorem, you can use state elimination method and you can get the answers very quick and you can use your intuition also. But then there are some questions, there may be some questions where you are forced to use Arden's theorem. That is why I'm discussing Arden's theorem. But for 99% of the questions, you don't have to use Arden's theorem. Okay. So notes is in the description. Don't write the notes. And then uh, watch my video at 2x speed. I'll be very slow while explaining. And if possible, like the video. If you really like the video, leave a comment saying thank you. If you really liked it very much, then subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Okay. If it is not difficult for you, if it is not too much trouble, please do it. Okay. So let us see this. So Arden's theorem, it is used to convert finite automata to a regular expression. Now Arden's theorem is based on these two rules. When s equal to r plus st, then s equal to r star t. When s equal to r plus ts, then s equal to t star r. Don't ask me for what is the meaning of s, r and t. There is no meaning, absolutely no meaning to s, r and t. They can be anything. They can be states, they can be regular expressions, they can be combination of them. So s, r and t can be anything. Okay. So how do you remember this? So how did you remember this in my gate exam? It is difficult to remember whether it is R T star or T star R, right? So in that case, you do back substitution. For example, if S equal to R T star, you substitute in this equation. Okay. Now what will be LHS? LHS will be R T star. This is the left hand side, right? Now look at the RHS, right hand side. Right hand side is R plus, what is S? R T star r t star followed by a t. Now if you pull out r as common, then you are going to get epsilon plus t star t. Right. Epsilon plus t star t. Now what is this? This is t plus. Right. So you are going to get epsilon plus t plus. Epsilon plus t plus. Right. Now this is going to be t star r t star. Now you can see that left hand side and right hand side both are equal. That is why it is s equal to r t star is right. If you forget in the exam, you can derive it and you can see which one is what. Now in this case, s equal to r t s, r plus t s, s equal to t star r. Now do the same thing, substitute it here. LHS is t star r. LHS is t star r. Now RHS is R plus T followed by T star R. Now you can pull out R as common from the right hand side. Then what do you get? Epsilon plus T T star followed by R. Now what do you get here? Epsilon plus T plus is T star. T star R. Epsilon plus T T star is T star R, right. <clears throat> so that is how we can remember these equations. Now let us see some examples. Now what is the regular expression for this finite automata? So all that you have to do is use the Arden's theorem and get the value of B that will be the language accepted by the finite automata. But with intuition, you can directly do it, right? So what is this? This is 0 followed by 1 star. 0 followed by 1 star. Or 1 0 followed by 1 star. 1 0 followed by 1 star. Now if you pull out 1 star as common, this is 0 plus 1 0 followed by 1 star. Even if you use Arden's theorem, you are going to get the same thing, same result, right? So you got it by intuition directly. Why should you use this entire Arden's theorem? It is waste of time. But then there may be some questions where it will be useful. That is why I'm teaching you this, right? So always initial, the initial state will contain epsilon. And then you have to check for every state incoming edges. There are no incoming edges for A. That is why A is equal to epsilon. Now if you look at B, there are three incoming edges. One, two, and a loop is also incoming edge. Therefore, you are going to get three 
modules here. A followed by a zero is one part. C followed by a zero is one part. B followed by B is one part. So that is why you are getting three parts, right? So A followed by a zero, C followed by a zero, B followed by a one. And what about C? There is only one incoming edge. That is why A followed by one. Now what you will do is A is epsilon is already there, right? In both these places you put epsilon, right? C will become one. C will become one. <coughs> now this one will also become epsilon. It will become zero. Now it will become zero plus one zero, isn't it? So it will, it will become zero plus one zero. So zero plus one zero plus b followed by one. Now if you look at it, it is in the form of s equal to r plus s t. S equal to r plus s t, right? Now what is the solution for this? R t star. Now what is r? One zero followed by one followed by t star is one. T star is one. T star means one star. 1, 0, plus 0, 1 star. But we can get it using the uh, intuition directly, right? Now, this one is also a simple question, right? So, this is even number of Bs. Now, what can you do? You eliminate this state. Now, what do you get? B star, sorry, B, A star, B. Now, the final state will contain two loops. A is there. And along with that, it is going to get b a star b b a star b right right now it is nothing but whole star that is the answer by state elimination even you are getting the same thing here right but still we will look at it now a is initial state it will have epsilon a has two incoming states one is incoming straight incoming edges one is capital a on small a Another is capital B on small b. Capital B on small b. Now B has B has two incoming edges. One is capital A on B. Another is capital B on A. Capital B on A. Now, in order to eliminate B, you can use the equation S equal to R plus S T. Right? So now you understood R does not have any meaning. It can be anything. S does not have any meaning. It can be anything. T can be anything. Right? Now if you write the solution for the equation, it is going to be R T star. It is going to be R T star. Right? Now, <coughs> what is R? R is A B. What is T? T is A. Therefore, T star. Therefore, B equal to A B A star. A B A star. Now you take this B value and substitute in here at this point and this place, right? Then you are going to get this. Now you pull out A as common, pull out A as common and epsilon is anyways there, right? Now it is in the form of S equal to R plus S T, S equal to R plus S T, right? Right. Now if you simplify it, now if you simplify it, it is going to be R T star. So what is R? R is epsilon, T star is this, A plus B A, B A star B, A plus B A star B whole star, right. Now, there can be some questions where you are supposed to use Arden's lemma. They have given such a question in the exam. They have given such a question in the exam where you should definitely use where you should definitely use Arden's theorem. Okay. So they are given this NFA. This is an NFA. Now, if you assume that D is the final state, then the language accepted is LD. If you assume that E is the final state, then the language accepted is LE. If D is the final state, some some language if e is the final state some language okay now they are asking what is the relationship between these two languages which one is subset of which one or are they both equal or anything right in this case writing the equations for d and e will be very helpful right so if you write the equation for d it will be c on zero or d on one or e on zero right 
and if you write the equation for E, it is going to be uh, C on 0, E on 0, D on 1, right? Now, both the equations are same. You can see that this equation and this equation is same. Now, I don't have to solve them because even if I solve them, the languages are going to be same. Since both, them, both of them have the same equations, the languages accepted by both of them are same, which means LD is equal to LE. These two are equal. LD and LE both are equal, right? So they may force you to use Arden's lemma like this. That is Arden's theorem like this. That is why I have told you the theorem, explained you the theorem, okay? So in the next lecture, we will start uh, regular grammars. And if you like the video, like it. If you like it very much, leave a comment saying thank you. And if you if you really loved the course, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe it. Thank you. If you want to take my gate classes, we go to the website ravindrababuravala.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there. Okay. So coming to the classes, they are all recorded. Why am I doing recorded? Why am I not doing live classes is I have thousands of students registering for my courses every year. But then if I conduct a live class, only 20 or 30 people will be there. 20 or 30, that's it. Maximum is 40 I had. The reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time. See, you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed. You have to watch at the pace at which I teach. Generally, I will be very, very slow while teaching. So if you can go through the live classes, you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast. 400 plus hours content is there for gate. And if you are going to watch them at normal pace, it will take 400 hours. But if you watch it at 2x speed, it will take just 200 hours, right? So if you want any of my gate classes, gate computer science or gate DA, the price is just 10,000 rupees. It is very, very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide. We have test series, we have doubt sessions, we have videos, we have lecture notes for every, even you don't have to write any lecture notes. I will provide you lecture notes for every subject. You just have to sit back, watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes. Short notes will be provided, long notes will be provided, formulas will be written in a separate notes. Everything will be there provided to you. You don't have to work hard. And coming to, if you are planning to go abroad, we also have study abroad program. You can go through my number. My number is on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is in the website. If you are planning to do masters abroad, that is a very good choice. It is better than doing masters in India. So if you are planning to go abroad, we will help you out right from the, from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c plus plus okay so thank you so much